What's up, B? So if you play EFT into the midwipe, you know that armor becomes paper mache. Recently, no food after midnight have been, has been doing no armor runs, and he said when he's died, the armor does not would have not changed the outcome. And my solution hopefully would fix this. Now, I've played the game since February. And since that time, armor to me has slowly became an object of wealth. And what do I mean by that? It doesn't do anything. I've ran Slicks, I've ran Altins, I've ran Zooks, I've ran Killas, I've ran Altins uh, with Slicks, yada yada yada. 99.99% of the time, it did not make a difference. And for the price tag that those armors have on them, they should make a difference. I'm not talking about becoming a bullet sponge. I'm talking about them actually stopping a few rounds before I die. Or better, but before I even take damage. Oh, don't worry if they're running bad ammo, it will stop it. But no one's running bad ammo. And that is why people always talk about the ammo. And I want to play devil's advocate and talk about something that I find no one really talks about is the armor. In real life, an armor plate can stop a lot of rounds before it breaks. Of course, it depends on the material and what that plate is rated to stop. For example, if my memory serves me right, a 3 plus armor can stop a 7.62 armor piercing round. I could be wrong. I haven't watched a lot of gun stuff in a while. My point being is real life armor can stop a decent amount of rounds. Even ceramic plates before they break can take some rounds. coming full circle, that was also why people talk about the ammo in this game. If, if I feel like people have to mention the armor, and that is what we're going to do in this video. Be warned, this video is not scripted for two reasons. Whenever I script, I stumble over myself in the end cannot get the words out. Two, I feel like scripting for me just doesn't work out. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is how to make armor more viable. So before making of this video, I thought, and I think many people may think this as well, that higher the durability, more likelihood of the armor stopping around. I found out today, making this video, that's not the case. For example, I pulled up Battle Buddy, which is a great app, and grabbed a TB rig with full durability, selected the BT round for 545, and had a 53% chance of going through. I'm like, okay, that's, I guess, a little shitty. I then selected an M1 rig, which is also a class 4 rig. Guess what? There's almost a doubling in price between those armors. The TV rig has more durability, but yet the pen chance is the same. Hold up, hold up a second. P pen is the same, but durability is higher and the cost is higher. That sounds like a great, great mechanic, guys. I'm sorry. I love the game, but that to me is just plain out stupid. And it goes to further my point. Armor to a point is stupid. 99.99% of the time, 
it does not do anything, and I think it should. And the issue only gets worse as you buy more, sorry, if, as you buy better armor and better ammo. For example, a slick versus SNB rounds, which can be shot out of an SVD. And this is what I did for Punisher. I wrecked people using SNB when they were using class five and six armor. Again, ammo is an issue, but armor is also a factor in this issue because it's not viable. And I'll get to everything that might fix this very soon after I provide my examples. SNB has a 91% chance of going through armor that is class 6. 91% chance for a full slick. The round costs today, October 13th, 500 rubles on average. SNB isn't even top tier ammo. There's better ammo than it. It's up there, but there's better ammo. Slicks, on average, cost 600,000 rubles. But around, that is 500 rubles can go clean through it 91% of the time. That's full durability. That should not be happening. Now, I'm playing devil's advocate, but I see the reasoning for the ammo discussion. I'm just going to be talking about the ammo, sorry, the armor in this video. And this idea will actually balance out the ammo. And a, a little bit. So, my idea is this. So, if your armor is above 50 durability when it's brand new, it will be able to stop a round that is, for example, let's say you're using class 5, and it meets that mark, and somebody shoots at you with a round that is 57 pen and below it will not go through on the first round since the armor is brand new. But it's, if it's 58 and above, it will go clean through. But this perk will run out as soon as the armor dips below 10% of the, of the full durability. So this will actually do a couple of things. It will incentivize you to buy better armor that repairs better. Now, I'm not too sure if that 10% loss will be changed per armor and their overall durability. That's just the number that I've thrown out there because it gives you a few repairs for good armor. For example, an M1 rig repairs really well. It's cheap, it repairs well, so you'll have that, the, uh, that perk for a while. A slick repairs really well, so maybe since it's so expensive, it also might have a bonus of that perk, say 15% to uh, full durability. And you see, I just think that give you an incentive to wear armor, the armor will do something, more expensive armor that repairs will better, will be a better purchase, and ammo will get a debuff. The pen will stay the same, so if you're facing against, for example, you're using 7M31 with an MPX, 
You can still fight that class four guy with, with no ease. It's one bullet. Now that whole 10% thing might change. This is a rough draft video that I'm putting out there to get hopefully opinions on this idea. So yeah, the ammo, all ammo is still gonna be viable. It will just maybe play a bit differently. And especially when they add the advanced armor zones, it's still, everything's still gonna be viable. I think it will actually play out better. So, bonuses of this. Armor will be worthwhile for the most part. I would say probably 60% of the time now armor would be viable. Better armor that repairs better would be more advantageous to buy. And maybe if it has a higher full durability, the perk will last for longer. Ammo will get a debuff, which people already say it might need. But also might say, okay, you know what, with this new armor thing, some ammo is no longer OP. But I think there still should be ammo that can go right through. And that's why that 7 mark is pretty good. Because M61 can go right through, M903 can go right through those big boy rounds that should be able to go through armor, still can. Now some ideas in this might change like the durability with the perk say more durability more expensive armors will have this perk for a greater percentage and 10 will be the baseline or say within that raid if the armor stays within that 15 percent 10 percent range bullets won't go through i I don't know. It's just an idea that has came and gone with me since I played the game because I quickly found out armor didn't do a whole lot. And I didn't play when you double up on armor and there wasn't as much crazy ammo to go through armor. But I've heard the OG say the game was a lot more fun to play, more tactical, because combat situations could actually develop instead of pray, sorry, it's instead of spray, boom, he's dead, it's shot, 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 okay, he's still up, let's go for a flanking route and that kind of stuff, that still happens from now, and again in the game, but for the most part, it's SCM, boom, spray, I'm dead or he's dead, and I feel like maybe a slightly longer time to kill with this armor, idea might bring back some of that tacticalness and not just look and kill it's an idea tell me what you guys think i'm not an og at this game i've been playing from september but i love this game and i don't want to see it do well like most of us do so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments thank you for watching and as always have fun while you're gaming